Hi everybody, my name is William Papadonisiu. I'm a finance and sociology double major in my fourth year at Charlotte. Today I'll be talking to you about Kaizen AI event management. So as a college senior, I feel like I've always found out about the perfect event about two weeks after it happened. I feel like, you know, something that I found would have connected me with other professionals going into my area of interest or mentors that might be able to propel me forward always were just out of reach. And so that led me to the problem that others have experienced on campus. First, universities face a problem with this as well because after COVID, student engagement on campus has fallen greatly. This is a big, not only metaphorical problem because of you know, the, the losses due to uh, you know, interaction, but also the financial loss of students who are more engaged on campus being 50% more likely to donate back to universities after they graduate. So focusing in on UNC Charlotte, I interviewed two sections of people, students and faculty, totaling 50 people. Students found the current process overwhelming and inconvenient, pointing to multiple different emails coming from multiple different departments with a lot of different events, most of which they didn't really care about. This leads to students just ignoring those emails altogether and then opting out of attending those events. Finally, inconvenient because when it was time for them to find an event, they have to look on different, multiple different websites, look at times, look at locations, figure out what worked within their schedule, and then pick an event there. Now that's a pretty high barrier for college students who, one, as COVID showed, are less likely now to want to be engaged on campus, and students who have a lot going on already. On the other side, faculty found the process tedious and frustrating having to connect with multiple different departments to communicate their events and find their target population group, as well as frustrating because students who sign up for events, there's no way of indicating how likely that student is to actually attend the event. This means that attendance rates, from my interviews, had been as low as 10% of people who signed up for event. Now that's a lot of waste in terms of food, of catering, space, and has led to faculty sometimes opting out of conducting events altogether. Now, maybe now. <laughs> so who are we? Well, our goal is to push students and universities to conduct and interact events on campus in the 21st century. AI is now being used in a lot of different areas, but it's not used on college campuses for events. And with that, we push, to, we push students to interact with these events uh, in a higher level and propel their professional and social lives forward. Now, that's all great, but what do we do different? Well, as you can see here, this is what our integration into Canvas looks like, which is one of our key differentiators. An integration into a learning management system removes the barrier of having to search out all of these different platforms to find an event that interests them. This also puts their workload directly next to the events that they would be attending making it easy to see what events are reasonable to fit in their schedule. Now on the right hand side, you can see the on-campus events that would be recommended through a machine learning algorithm based on the student profile and the student's attendance rate as well as events they've attended in the past. Now below that, you can see our campus or our off-campus events. This would be things going around on the local community that would push students to not just be involved in their university, but also on the uh, surrounding area. These can, of course, all be filtered by date, time, um, you know, skills, and of course, perks. Uh, any college student will tell you, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know, free food is a, is a big draw to any event. Now, this leads us to our journey. So our background, like I said, was focused on trying to find out why students weren't attending the events that are widely available on campus. This led us to the creation of Kaizen, and finally, where we are now. The addition of the community engagement model allows us to diversify our revenue streams and build a very penetrative pricing model, keeping costs low for universities, allowing us to expand in the market very quickly. Our next steps would be to develop a minimum viable product and conduct a proof of concept. And finally, the opportunity is huge with 18.5 million students that's projected to grow year over year and at around 4,000 universities across the U.S. Thank you so much. I look forward to your questions.
a real problem. Thank you. Uh, you've talked to, you've talked, you've talked uh, to students and faculty. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, to put this into play, you'll have to work through university administration and mm -hmm. such. Have you spoken with them? And if so, what, what have you heard? Is this something that's desired or not? So the basis of my conversations with that then have been mostly on the achievability of integrating something like this. So it's been more on the technical side, not on the uh, demand side. I think from my conversations with faculty, there is a wide acknowledgement that even from the university faculty side, that this is a huge issue. Um, and so my hope would be that those conversations are indicative or at least would be able to be used towards administration to persuade them, uh, you know, that this is again a real issue, especially with students engagement being a, a driver of revenue. Really nice work with the mock-up. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was smart to parallel the coursework next to the events that are happening. I could see students just signing up for everything. Yeah. I'd love to learn more about what sort of attributes and data points you would ideally plug into the AI to make some of these event recommendations. Yeah, so it would be based off of, uh, uh, originally, it would be based off of an interest form. Uh, so picture it as the beginning of every semester, they would fill out an interest form that would indicate what social interests uh, and events they would like to attend. This would be uh, indicative also off of what clubs and things like that they're involved in, as well as the student profile. So major, GPA, uh, you know, potential career pursuit, all of those would be data points, and then that would be further refined based on what events they both sign up for and what events they actually attend. Um, so that would iteratively improve the model as well. <laughs> and the name. So uh, Kaizen is a Japanese philosophy talking about avoiding the plateau of life. So a lot of people, they reach a plateau and they kind of stick within that kind of realm. The, the philosophy, and I think what aligns very well with the, the model that we're proposing, is we're trying to push students past just the basics of attending university. So past the attending class, maybe joining a fraternity or a sorority, and further into what particular interest do you have of like career pursuits or social uh, interests within the community that you could get involved with. with and, I, uh, and finding out about that, that kind of philosophy, I think it aligned really well with, uh, with the business. Thank you. <laughs>